Well, it's been months. The city of Punta Gorda has been trying to decide what to do with this building. I'm Fox Forest Dominga Murray, and this is the Cooper Street Rec Center. It dates all the way back to the Jim Crow era and served as a place for African Americans to meet and find fellowship during that time. But now the question is, what's its current purpose? I'm going to recommend $500. $500 per month? Per month. It's a conversation at Punta Gorda City Council meeting discussing what's next for this historic building, how much future tenants will pay for it, and ultimately what the space will be used for. What they're going to do now is actually um, put an RFP out for nonprofits to apply, and so, you know, of course, we're going to apply for that. The center sits on land that is leased by the city, currently used as a place to socialize elders and children to find daycare through the YMCA. Jaha Cummings, the center's president, says it bridges the generations. The city pays about $3,000 a month for the building's operation. Now it's considering how much to charge for the property, whichever nonprofit takes over the space. Well, there's no immediate urgency for this okay. because we have a six month agreement. What the building is used for could also change, but it could remain just as is if Cummings and the center's board can prove to the city the public good it serves. Cummings is thankful for the six month extension because prior conversations pointed to a more hasty eviction. This is good because after all of this, it gives us at least six clear months to provide um, services to the community. We'll make sure to update you right here on Fox 4 on air and online once the city makes a decision. In Punta Gorda, Domingo Murray, Fox 4.